Protests outside Philadelphia International Airport. It may have been a little difficult getting a ride today as Uber and Lyft drivers are demanding change. We're talking better wages, more protections to keep their money coming in. Drivers all across the nation refusing to accept fares to airports today. And tonight we spoke with riders and uh, drivers as well. Jeff, what did they all have to say? Well, look, we certainly talked to both. Both first, let's talk about the drivers. The drivers say the big rideshare companies are literally gobbling up their fares. They're claiming that Uber and Lyft are grabbing as much as 70 percent of their fares. Now, many of the riders that we talked to today were certainly aware of this ongoing strike or protest and were sympathetic. Others, not so much. Business is brisk at the Uber Lyft waiting area at Philly International as drivers pull up, load up, and ride off. Passengers knew there was a protest by rideshare drivers, but the wait wasn't long. Edgar Martinez is a rideshare driver ready to step away. I mean, that's why I'm here protesting. I'm trying to make a, a, a change. If it's not going to change, I'm going to be one of the guys that got over 20,000 on rides that's going to leave. Drivers gathered holding signs of protest in the rideshare lot off Island Avenue, just a hop from the airport. They say Uber and Lyft are gobbling up their fares, grabbing as much as 70 percent for themselves, leaving drivers with little after gas and car repairs. A driver said he was offered 190 bucks round trip Philly to State College, which drops to about 100 after gas. He claims Uber charged the passenger 600 bucks. This 190 is for everything, for the whole ride to go and come back. And you can't live on that. I cannot. I cannot. We cannot. This is not fair. Uber did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Lyft argues after expenses, its drivers nationally in the second half of 2023 earned $23.46 per driving hour, including tips and bonuses, adding under a new plan. Now drivers will always make at least 70% of their weekly rider fares after external fees. It's all part of our new customer-obsessed focus on drivers. I think that a lot of people that are doing that shouldn't use that as their sole basic income. I think there's a lot of opportunities in the city. While some riders were unconvinced, others were concerned. They're out here, um, you know, driving people, working hard. They should, uh, you know, they shouldn't have everything they make taken from them. Now, this was supposed to be a strike by Uber and Lyft drivers where they didn't drive today. This is the waiting area behind me here where Uber and Lyft passengers have picked up. And clearly, there were Uber and Lyft drivers here working this day. Again, we did not hear at all from Uber, but Lyft did react. Seemingly, these protests maybe are having some impact where they're now suggesting that they can guarantee fares at about 70 percent over a weekly period period. We'll certainly hear more about this live at the airport. Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Folks. All right, Jeff, thank you so much.